Close your eyes and watch your breath. As the breath comes in, think the word but. When it goes out, think to, butto. That's the name of the Buddha. It means awake. It's a quality we like to develop in our minds. Because the reason we, we suffer as we go through life is because we're not really awake to what we're doing. And when you're dedicating merit to someone else, you want to make sure that your merit is complete. There's the merit of generosity, there's the merit of virtue, and there's the merit of meditation. It's like sending a gift. You want to make sure that all the parts are there. So let's make it complete by meditating. Get the mind still with the breath. Any other thoughts that come into the mind right now, you just let them go. Be with the sensation of the breath in the body. And ask yourself, the way you're breathing, does it feel good? You can try long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep or shallow. See what way of breathing feels best for the body right now. If you're tired, you want to breathe in a way that's energizing. If you're tense, you want to breathe in a way that's more relaxing. So see what the body needs, see what the mind needs right now. And the breath can provide it. The breath is like medicine. For most of us, it just keeps us alive. But if you pay careful attention to it, you realize that different ways of breathing will have a different effect on the body, different effect on the mind. And because your breathing is free, why don't you take advantage of that? So just stay with the breath. Keep your mind one with the breath. This gift that we're giving, you want to make sure it has high value. And the fewer objects in the mind, the fewer things you're thinking about, the higher the value of the mind. We tend to think that the more thoughts we have, the more clever the mind is. But the quality of the mind is best is when it's really focused, when it's still, because it can see things more clearly. It also has a sense of well-being. You want to send that as part of your gift, too. The currents of the mind are what sense the merit. And so you want to make sure the current of your mind is cool. So the person on the receiving end will be happy to receive it, and will be uplifted by receiving it. So try to lift your mind yourself. Realizing that we live in this world, aging, illness, and death are a normal part of the world. But the Buddha taught was a way that we can be in this world of aging, illness, and death, and we don't have to suffer. We can continue to do good. We have the energy to do good things for ourselves and for other people. And it all starts with the breath, getting to know your breath really well. Without the breath, the body and the mind wouldn't, wouldn't have any interaction at all. You wouldn't be able to do anything with the body. So pay careful attention to the breath. Breathe in a way that feels good, so that this gift of merit that you're giving is a gift that the other person will be happy to receive. <laughs>